guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. So guys, today I thought I'd give you an update on plants that I have bought recently. Now I'm going to include in this some of the ones that I got from Thailand, uh, but I actually picked up a gorgeous plant yesterday and that got me excited, so I wanted to share that with you. I did say I was gonna put up a LECA video and I am going to do that. I'm just waiting for one of my Thailand plants to get a little bit stronger before I do that. So guys, I'm not a huge fan of the spathophyllum or the peace lily. Um, I know that there are people who absolutely love it, but for me, it's never been one that really appealed to me until yesterday. I went to Valley View Nurseries in Markham and I'm walking around and I see this plant. I'm like, oh my God, what is this? And it turns out it's a spathophyllum, but it's a variegated leaf. So let me show you it. This is the spathophyllum variegated. Now there's probably another name for it. Unfortunately, they didn't have any labels on it at all. Um, and normally, Valley View are great, they'll have a sign up, but they didn't have a sign up over this. But I'm gonna come in closer and give you a close up view. This leaf is just beautiful. Now we all know Granny gets very excited over leaves, but I was beside myself with this one. I just love it. Look at how unusual it is. And you can see there, there's the flower coming up. And there's two little flowers coming up actually but it doesn't feel real like it's just got such an unusual texture to it so of course i had to have it i was so excited about it and the beauty about spathophyllum is they can be put in a lower light area they don't require as much light as like our hoyas or many of our other plants now of course they do require some light all plants require some light guys no matter how hardy they are. So this is an ideal plant. It's actually ideal for me because my windows are weird, okay? I have, um, it's an east facing window at the front and my Hoyas love that because it gets sun in the morning. And I have, uh, well, it's probably northeasterly and I'm southwesterly at the back. So in the afternoon I get full sun, but at this side of my house, it's south facing, but it doesn't actually do as well as you would think it would do because I have a house right beside me, so it blocks a lot of the sun, but the plants do like it. Actually, my Hoyas, my three Hoyas in my kitchen window, love it. They're just at the end of the house, so they'd get just the right amount of sun. So I'm running out, basically, of window space, guys. <laughs> so this is going to be ideal. I have it here in my family room. So I have a covered deck outside my family room, patio door. So it does restrict the light coming in. In the summer, the light's okay. In the winter, it's very poor. So that's why in my family room I have all of these lights, if you've watched my video on how to use artificial lighting. But this one is, like, definitely guys, it was 19 99 can you believe that? I, when I took it to the till I nearly died. I'm like, oh my god, that is incredible. So there is my new, my newest plant. Actually, I bought two yesterday. I also bought mistletoe cactus because I have a lovely mistletoe cactus outside, but I did lose some of it. So every time I go there, if I see one, I pick it up. They're only tiny, three, three or four dollars, I think. And I always just add it in so that eventually I'll have a nice big mistletoe cactus again. But anyway, that's my spotify love. love it. Okay, next up, what did I buy? I went to Ikea. Good old Ikea. Look at this ponytail palm. Guys, I also put it in this gorgeous pot. It's like a tin pot from Ikea. I don't, I don't think they price their pots. I don't know how much it was. Let me take it out to show you it fully. Look at that. How cute is that? It looks like me on a bad hair day. <laughs> anyway, guess what? It was $12.99. Can you believe that? Look at the size of it. $12.99. Listen to it rough. I love the way it ruffles. When you hit off it, it ruffles. But it just feels so lovely. It's, I don't know, it's gorgeous. So I was so delighted to get that. $12.99, what an amazing price. So that was another recent buy. Uh, actually, I'm gonna save the best for last. So we also have, if you recall from my video from Thailand, I got these Birkin. This one's a bit yellow, but you know, I think it's because it's really dry. I, I forgot to water them, so I need to go in and water them now. So I got three of these. There were actually an error in my delivery. This is one of them. And you can see there's a new um, stem. I don't know, can, I, can I show it to you? There? there is a new stem coming up there with a new leaf. And two of them, one of them, didn't do great this one was the best one and I put the two of them into one pot and they were doing great but the smaller one that just had the shoot out of it 
it kind of went a bit soggy so I pulled off all the soggy part but it looks like it still may survive underneath so I also bought I'll show you I also bought a Birkin here in Canada so I think these probably worked out to be like 25 to 30 dollars each so you know when you like I've said before when you include your shipping and your phytosanitary certificate you know they're probably not all that much cheaper and in some cases they're probably more expensive than here but the thing is you know you can get your hands on the plants over there however if you check my last video I didn't have a great experience and it has kind of I'm not saying I will never do it again but it's very frustrating but let me just grab the other Birkin to show you okay so this is the Birkin that I got here in Canada and this was $29.99 so let me show you the differences in them like this one that I got in Canada will eventually be like this, the one I got in Thailand. But you can see, oh my gosh, this is going to give me muscles. You can see um, there's more variegated leaves on the one I got in Thailand than there is here, the one I got here in Canada. But this will, it will, this will definitely get there. So I had said, oh, I'd probably sell the ones I bought in Canada. No, I didn't. I kept them all. <laughs> I find it so hard to part with plants, guys. I just love them too much. My poor husband. Anyway, let's move on. Okay guys, so this is the Monstera Peru. It's all so-called um, Carsteniaenum, I believe. And I think the leaf on this is just so unique. Guys, I only buy plants with leaves that I like. So if it doesn't have a leaf that appeals to me, I won't buy it, which is why I think I didn't like the Spathophyllum before. So this is gorgeous and this is doing beautifully. It's in my living room and it gets lots of morning sun. So I'm excited about that one. Um, I also, oh, this is the Hoya Kerry that I got. I just have this in sphagnum moss at the moment. And this is the one that I'm hoping I will put into Lekka. So it is cute, like it's a cute, it's, it's a Hoya Kerry splash. So it does have like a very nice, leaf on it. Guys, I've had some successful orders from there. I'm not going to, to lie. I've, and I've been very excited about plants I have received from there before. But just the last two have just been problematic for me. And actually, the, the, this last one I just got was the worst. So I had got, I ordered eight plants. I got five. And two were dead on arrival. And now four are dead. I think this is the only one that survived of the five. Yes, it is. So this is the only one that survived of the five that I got. So it was in customs for 16 days and it just looked, took way too long and not in customs, it was in shipping for 16 days. So this is actually the only one that survived and I was also missing some plants. So what else did I get? I love this one. This is, oh my gosh, I can't think. This is a Hoya Sunrise, Hoya Sunrise. And this has actually done well since I've got it. It definitely has grown, it has such a cute leaf and when it gets a lot of sun, I have to move it actually to a sunnier area, it turns a beautiful like orangey yellow colour. So I do need to give this a little more sun. And then we had our Callistophylla which has done very well. So this is a Thailand plant, I'm very happy with this. This did awesome and I took a cutting of it already because I wanted to make it a bigger plant and the cutting rooted like super quick and that's it there and it's doing great. No issues with it at all. So if you were importing, this is one I definitely go for guys. This, this transported so well. Look at the leaf. Gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. They just make my heart skip a beat sometimes when I look at them. <laughs> my husband's like, you're nuts. But they do make my heart so big. I do have two more plants to show you, but one I'm just showing you for information. So this is the most expensive purchase I have made recently. This is a Hoya Crimson Queen. Oops, one well, that top it as a leaf. And that's a nice long leaf. If I say this quietly, my husband mightn't hear. Of course he's gonna watch the video. This was $79. I can't believe I paid $79 for it. But I just thought, look at that. It would take me years and years and years to grow my little one, which I have up there, to this size. So I was there and I thought, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. As all us plant people probably say to our spouses, 
we could be doing worse things than buying plants. <laughs> I bet you've all used that one, right? <laughs> so there we have my gorgeous Hoya Crimson Princess. And I, I have, I actually have left it in the pot and I just have it in this macrame hanger in my kitchen window. Oh, now it's come out. And it's actually loving life there. So guys, the last plant I wanted to talk about. I bought this plant from Asian Plant Exports. I'm going to show it to you. Um, I'm going to say a year ago. I'm going to say a year ago. Actually, that the one I just got in the recent de delivery is, is this little stalk here. It lost all its leaves, this stalk here. And, but I said, you know, I'm just going to stick it in here and just see, maybe it might come back. The roots looked okay. I mean, they weren't amazing. They were tiny, absolutely tiny, but I stuck it in anyway. But this is the one that I got last year and it was doing terribly. I was thinking this is just never going to come back. The, the leaves were really puckered and they're supposed to be like nice and solid, like a typical Hoya. But... When I was at Ikea, I bought a little glass dome and I was like, I bought it not knowing what I was going to do with it. And this happened to be the best plant. This happened to be the plant that fit over it best. And I put this over it. I think it was like $5.99. So I put it over it and I put it on my sideboard in my dining room. And lo and behold, it bounced back. This is the healthiest it has looked since I got it. It does create humidity during the day. You can see the condensation on the inside and it was just what this plant needed. I am so happy. So this, when I bought this one, I'm sure it was called Lacunosa Eskimo leaves or something like that. It's a, it's um, the curtsy plant. I believe it's part of the curtsy family. But when I got this one, it was called Lacunosa Silver Leaves. So I'm not actually 100% sure if these are exactly the same, but um, they, they certainly look very similar. So I'm so excited about that. So guys, if you have a plant that is just not taking off or not doing well, you can buy one of these or go to Dollarama and get a glass vase and just turn it upside down on top of it. It's had such an amazing impact on this plant. And for the first time since I got it in a year, it actually is looking healthy. I do, as I say, I do have more plants that I bought that I haven't shown you here today and maybe I'll gather those ones together soon and we'll go through them as well. So if you want to check out my, my previous video on my last import to Thailand um, and see my frustration, go ahead and do that. Um, but has it fully deterred me? I don't know. I, I think I may order again. However, I've been looking up a supplier in Indonesia. He hasn't gotten back to me. I wrote to him probably two or three days ago. So let's see if he gets back to me. He has a lot of anthuriums and, you know, the large leafed philodendrons, the beautiful velvety ones. Um, I did order one of them from Asian Plant Exports, but it didn't come. So I thought, you know what, I might, just as an experiment, and for you guys to follow with me, I may order from him if he ever gets back to me. So guys, I hope these tips and this viewing was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please don't forget to ask below. If you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, that would be amazing. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Guys, thank you for your support and for joining me. And I will be back soon with another video. Take care.